his name again. He joins Mario Andretti and Daryl Waltrip as the only men who have been voted Driver of the Year for a third time. Jeff Gordon's 13 wins in 1998 tied a modern-day record. Twice, he garnered a Winston Noble 5 bonus, and his fourth consecutive Southern 500 win at Darlington is an accomplishment all his own. Three-time NASCAR Winston Cup champion and the 1998 Driver of the Year, Jeff Gordon. It's great to be here uh, and see all these recipients uh, of, of Hall of Famers. Uh, you look at the list of, uh, of drivers that are out there that uh, have won uh, Driver of the Year, and, and it's unbelievable. And it, it amazes me to even think uh, that my name could, could be up there among those drivers. And, uh, you know, I had a, an incredible year last year, but you look at all the other drivers out there that also had incredible years, um, and it's, it's pretty tough to... To, to pick just one. You know, they, they give this award to the driver, but uh, I wish there was a way I could share it with the team. Uh, they, thank you very much. Thank you, Daryl, and thank everybody from the Hall of Fame, and uh, this is a great award. Thank you. I like to make a point to people that I don't know, because I really love you all for just being here, the media and everybody, but my mom sits in front of, she watches her TNN, she watches her Diamond P, she watches her ESPN, ESPN2, she does it. And they do it all, not getting, it's getting me, they do it all across America. They live for the Earnhardts and the Gordons and the Bernsteins and the Perdomes and Gartlets. They live for it. I come home, my mama says, my boy's been on fire more than he's won races, and that's the truth. And she says, I go to her house the other night. She lives in a little old place I bought it. See, I grew up in that little trailer house, that little old trailer house, smaller than my bus. You know what I'm saying? And she says, I says, knocked on the door. Mama, who is it? Johnny Ford, Johnny, funny car champ. Huh, who? I said, Mama, it's your boy. She said, come on in, I'm watching TV, and now I'm gonna cry, because I love her to death. We all got mamas, we all got daddies. Let me tell you something. She thinks, it's just my dumb kid, right? That's me. But there's a little difference this week, Mama, when I come home, because I'm driver of the year. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I tell you, uh, what an honor it is to, uh, to be here tonight, to, uh, to be here and, and be presented the Driver of the Year Award. You know, I, it, it's hard for me to, to really accept this a, as one individual. I, I feel like they, they need to consider this award as the Team of the Year. All I do know is that by receiving the Driver of the Year Award, uh, this is something that's going to remind me of such a special year. Uh, Jeff, 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 hang on a second. I know you've never trusted me with a live mic, have you? No, I haven't, Gary. Well, we mentioned before that we have a special presentation for you in commemoration of the three-time winner of this award on behalf of the Driver of the Year Award at Indian Motorcycle Corporation. I'd like to introduce the easy rider. There he is, Peter Final. Let's go have a look. We were told that you always wanted a motorcycle, never found the time to go shop for one. Now, the sad part of it is, Jeff, Jeff was not even born when Easy Rider came out as a movie in 1969. However, it's being re-released next October. Peter, welcome. Thank you very much. You know, the first time I've done this in a tuxedo without a net. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the Driver of the Year program in Indian Motorcycle, I want to present you this very special Jeff Gordon, Indian Chief. <laughs> now, there's, there's two of these. This one, you get to ride. One will be here on display, and one will travel, and that one will travel with a circuit, and then we'll auction it off at the end of the season to your favorite charity. And I want to thank uh, Barry and James and everybody at the uh, Driver of the Year program, all the, all the people uh, on the panel uh, that, that vote these drivers in, uh, and a special thanks to everybody at the uh, Hall of Fame here tonight. This is a very special night. Before the Winston Cup banquet even got underway in New York this weekend, Dale Jarrett had something to celebrate. The Winston Cup champion was named Driver of the Year by a national panel of motorsports media. That announcement came Wednesday with a formal presentation made on Saturday. Jarrett's season, of course, marked by his consistency. 24 times in the top five, 29 times in the top ten. He won four times this year, and once he gained the points late in May, never looked back, going on to his first Winston Cup championship at the age of 42.
DJ making it five times in the last six years that a Winston Cup driver has won this award. 18 of the 33 winners have come from NASCAR's highest division. Kart drivers did win five straight from 89 through 93. And in 1996, John Force became the first drag racer to win the award. But in 1999, it belonged to the 88. But how about yeah, best in the really sport as in driver of the that. year? Driver of the year? Man, uh, I, I don't know. That's a pretty incredible honor. Uh, one that I uh, can honestly say that I never even dreamed about uh, that happening. I think of all the great drivers uh, in this world uh, over the years that uh, never got this opportunity to experience this. So uh, it's the ultimate uh, for me uh, as a race driver. The recent stock car dominance led us to ask you which Winston Cup driver is the favorite to win the 2000 Driver of the Year. You voted on ESPN.com, and here is what you said. 32.6% of you feeling that Jeff Gordon has the best shot. Tony Stewart gaining some votes. Dale Earnhardt and Bobby Labonte also among those. And Dale Jarrett, 14.3% of the votes. The Driver of the Year Award is voted upon by a national panel of racing media is supposed to be just that, the Driver of the Year, regardless of what kind of vehicle he or she drives. Born humbly in 1967, it's grown to a status beside another icon of individual achievement. We consider it the Heisman of auto racing. The Heisman? Well, both are given out in posh confines in the Big Apple. Both have history and tradition involving their sport's greatest names, both decided by members of the press. In the case of the driver of the year, it's a jury of 15, each with their own criteria. I look at the guy's his racing record. I look at how, how he handles himself with the press. I look at how he represents his sponsors, and I see what kind of a life he leads. He has to be an all-around gentleman, sportsman, competitor, and politician. Campbell was among the original panel members in 1967. He feels racing may have to consider its own versions of the Butkus Award or the Jim Thorpe Trophy. Who covers Cart says performance, not popularity, influenced his vote for Jarrett, saying that Montoya suffered the bane of many a Heisman candidate, the bad game. Montoya made two unforced errors. He drove brilliantly, you know, but he, he cracked under a pressure. And, Dale didn't. To clinch the championship in NASCAR with a race to go was much more uh, of, a, of a championship year than Juan winning it on a tiebreaker, the only tiebreaker ever in CART. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate that. Quite an honor. Uh, you know, uh, when I received this uh, award, I guess I uh, found out about it up in New York at the, uh, at the, at the banquet up there, uh, one thing uh, <clears throat> come to mind, and that was uh, the first honoree for the driver of the year was 1967 Mario Andretti. It's like Christmas all over again. Got a ring, got a trophy, and I'm fixing to go try out my new bike. Thank you. We do have another very special presentation that comes along with this honor, and Bobby referred to it. I'm going to make sure that he gets this trophy a little bit later, but right now, he is moving to his specially produced Indian motorcycle painted in interstate batteries colors. That's a part of the Driver of the Year Award, and if you want, Bobby, Fire it up and drive it away, and we salute you as the 2000 Driver of the Year. Tonight, we are pleased once again to have the Driver of the Year presentation as a part of our induction ceremonies. Here to introduce the 2001 Driver of the Year is a three-time NASCAR Winston Cup champion, as well as a three-time winner of the Driver of the Year Award. Please welcome, from Fox Sports, my new Speed Channel colleague, Darrell Waltrip. You know, this is his fourth driver of the year and had broke him out of a tie with Mario Andretti and myself and I told him I said Jeff it's really fun to see people break records except when they're yours. Um, I tell you it, it is uh, an extreme honor to be here tonight uh, accepting this this award to to be a part of the uh, International Hall of Fame uh, inductee ceremony. Uh, we appreciate uh, the efforts that everyone has put into the driver of the year award uh, because as, as a driver uh, uh, you know, other than maybe the Winston Cup, uh, but if you look at, at drivers in all different motorsports, uh, one thing that they, that they cherish uh, is to be able to, to get uh, an honor like this. And now, before you go anywhere, Jeff, come back out here. There's a special perk that goes with being named Driver of the Year. We now present your specially produced Indian motorcycle painted in colors that I think you're going to enjoy. And here to present it to you is the CEO of Indian Motorcycle, Frank O'Connell. There you go, buddy. I want to thank them for their involvement with the uh, Drive of the Year Award. Uh, makes it 
even that much more special. So, look. Earlier today, CART was in the motorsport headlines as the 2002 Driver of the Year was announced. Here to present the award from Driver of the Year, Barry Schmoyer and Jim Kranos. The Driver of the Year Award is a little bit special. It's uh, existed for 35 years, and it covers all different types of motorsports. All the sanctioning bodies are included, and it's chosen by a blue ribbon panel of journalists, 16 panel members, as well as a, a fan vote. Would you please welcome the 2002 Driver of the Year, Cristiano Damata, to the stage, please. I would like to thank all the press that voted for this, of course, uh, means a lot to me, especially uh, those days that we have all, all the other opponents that attract so much more media than us right now. So it really means a lot to me that even, even though with this disparity we have, we still were able to capture the attention of all, of all the media and what, what can I say? Thank you again and this, this really means a lot to me. Thank you. Also new on speed this year, we're going to get our arms around the annual Driver of the Year balloting. It's been going on for many years. Now speed will embrace this long-standing award. Last year, the Driver of the Year is voted by a distinguished panel, Cristiano D'Amata, champion in the champ cars. This year, all four quarterly ballots will be announced on Speed Channel. You'll have a chance to vote online. And at the end of the year, we'll have a big party to announce the Driver of the Year. Who will join Cristiano D'Amata on the illustrious list? Let's go back to 1967, beginning with Mario Andretti, and take a look down this list of Drivers of the Year. All of us at Speed Channel, proud to be a part of it. We look forward to it in 2003. After a break, we'll be back with more of the Bridgestone Presents the Champ Car World Series powered by Ford. Stand by.